Okay, what we're going to do today is teach you how to make a Bic lighter refillable. And I'm not talking about making or re I'm not talking about refilling a Bic lighter as there's lots of videos on YouTube that show you how to take a push pin and push through the center uh, bearing, this little ball that, that seals up the, the hole there. They push through that, then they fill it with butane, they put their thumb on it, and they put the push pin back. And you end up with a lighter with a push pin in it, uh, which to me is completely ridiculous. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to install a butane nozzle. It looks kind of like this, and I will put a picture up to show you more detail, but it's threaded towards the back here, and we're going to drill the hole such that we can thread the nozzle into the lighter and of course have a nice seal on the end of it so we don't leak. Obviously I shouldn't have to say this but I'm going to anyway. You should make sure that your lighter is completely empty before you do this. Um, if it's not then just take a, a, a pin or something and, and pop that, go right in the center, push in that little bearing and let the fuel just drain out. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, it'll be a little cold but no big deal. If you're not familiar or, or handy with tools and things like that, maybe you shouldn't attempt this. I'm just saying use common sense, right? Um, but once the fuel is drained from the lighter, there's no risk of any explosions or anything like that. That's that's kind of silly to think that way. Once the fuel is expelled from the lighter, it's just a piece of plastic with air in it, so we're not going to hurt anything. Now we're going to start off with using this. I don't know what these drill bits are called, um, but it's got a it's got kind of a, a point there on it and it's flat you know so it's flat and it's made to drill these flat round holes I guess I don't know but what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this part start the hole starting in the center and we're gonna just let the drill lightly we push it down lightly because this plastic is very easy to drill through and if you go if you push too hard you're gonna go right through it and you'll have to start over with a new lighter but what this does is this will flatten out the edges and it'll let us it, we're going to drill it down to the depth of the very top of the nozzle so that that'll sit down and sit flush with the rest of the plastic because we don't want the nozzle to stick out otherwise we couldn't stand the lighter up and we wouldn't be very functional we wouldn't be able to do this with it you know, it won't stand up on this towel but you get the idea now the micrometer is just a tool that I use to get widths you can use a lot of different things for this but I find this is the best tool for it um, and so what we want to do is there's there's different measuring points on the nozzle uh, but this point that is just before the threads is what we're interested in for the final hole okay but for the first part we're going to want to get the width of this head here and you just take it and push it through the, the micrometer so that it goes all the way through so that we get the complete width of that head okay then I find it. Then I went and looked for a drill bit that was uh, at least that big. This one happens to be just a skosh bigger, which is okay because, again, that hole's not going all the way through the lighter. So you see that that that's just a little bit bigger. And then when we find uh, the other bits we need, or the second main bit, is the final hole, which is this position right here before the threads. Okay. So as you go down and, and you tighten up on that, you should be able to butt up against those threads and not go past them. Because the threads are going to bite into the plastic and become our main seal. So it just turns out that this bit, whatever size it is, I don't know, um, turns out to be, heck I can't even read that, but anyway, this one here is just a tad bit smaller. You can see it bounces in between there which is perfect you don't want it exactly the same size otherwise as you're drilling in you're gonna have motion in your hand and whatnot when you're drilling so it's gonna become just a slight a slight bit wider in the first place so just a little bit smaller is good and where you get these things well these nozzles I can't find any source to buy these anywhere other than buying one of these burns portable soldering irons for ten dollars over at Home Depot which has them already installed. So they come out really easy, you just take your screwdriver and you turn it and it, it's threaded and it comes undone. 
So it costs 10 bucks for one of these nozzles. I, I have not been able to find a source on the internet for these anywhere. If anyone knows where to buy these kinds of nozzles, anything like it, uh, please leave a comment below so that I can I can buy these by themselves without having to pay 10 bucks each. Um, and buying up Home Depot supply sometimes, because I do this for friends and whatnot. Let's see, so we're going to start with the outer seal hole. Oh, I should mention the screwdriver. You want to make sure that the screwdriver fits in this gap, okay? You don't want it too small. You don't want it too wide, because as you're threading down, you might dig into the plastic with the screwdriver. But you want it to fit in here, and this one happens to be a pretty near a perfect fit. So we're going to start with our big... seal. We're going to let this point go right in the center of that lighter. Keep checking it as you go so that you don't go too deep because it's easy to do. Of course you're going to want to check it. Now it looks like I might be leaning a bit. It's not quite a 90 degree angle, so I'm going to compensate it the other direction. So to check it, you're just going to set this head in there. See how it rests. Now you can see that it's resting at an angle. Okay. So part of this, looking like it's alright, the other part is kind of sticking up. So I'm going to have to drill and lean on this side. And if you have a drill press, it might make it easier. I don't have one, so... It's getting pretty good, pretty close. Um, turn this thing around and look. So you're making this outside hole for the, for the seal. The inner hole, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's got quite a bit of gap left in it. There's quite a bit of plaque left in there. So I might just go just a little bit deeper, because I really want that thing to be flush when I'm done. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now having that, that washer stick out is a good thing because it's going to get crunched down and sealed in anyway. So now we're going to start with our small bit. Now that this bit has made a really great guide hole. And the reason we start small is because it's easier to drill into a smaller hole with a smaller bit than to just start off with your biggest bit because you're because you could get off center. Uh, you want the drill bit to be to, to fall into the center nicely. So we're going to drill small and then taper up so that we don't screw anything up. And I need to mention as well, as you go in here, there is a, um, for reinforcement of this of this uh, outside casing, they've got a wall of plastic in, that goes right down the cross section center there and goes all the way down here. And we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to chip some of that out in order to get this nozzle to fit. Uh, and you'll feel it as you drill in, you'll start drilling into it. And if you're careful enough, you can drill into it pretty well to save you the hassle of having to chip it out or chip a lot of it out. Because if you make, if you chip it out and you make chunks that are too big, they won't come out the hole. So you gotta gotta be cognizant of that. All right, we broke through. You can hear it, little pieces in there. But before we chip away on that thing, we're gonna make this hole a little bit bigger. Again, I don't know what sizes these are. You just want to get three, basically two, or three or four intermediate sizes before your biggest one. Now see, as I, started, as I started to hit that wall on the inside, I started to pull my drill off to the left. Not a good thing, but we should be okay. Okay. Now that's the biggest start of the hole. You can, you can see down in there some of that wall that we got to chip away at. You want to use the bit to measure, you know, when it's going to hit. 
so that you know when this is going to hit because if you put this in you know it needs to be pretty deep it's got to be able to get through that so you want to chip it away in little pieces you don't want to go down and take a big chunk out because you got to make it fit through this hole and when you shake it it'll all eventually come out if it's small enough so we just start with we feel where the wall is and we go up to the tip as far as good as much as we can and still get some bite on it and just start chipping it away I've tried melting it away before with like a soldering iron or something or you know it's just or getting a nail and heating it up and try to it just made a mess it didn't work and it got the side of the hole melted and it just just all bad now the problem with leaving pieces in there if they're small enough they'll clog up the uh, the, the butane nozzle as the butane expels when you light the lighter had it happen before it made the flame extremely small and worthless Okay, as you can see, we've got the, um, the wall chipped away enough. If we put the, let's just put a bit in there until it hits against that wall. Put our finger there. Compare it. You can see we got plenty of room there. So, next thing we do is we press the header in. You can do this, you probably tap it in with a hammer. Um, you could use wood clamp, you know, something that will clamp down. But basically, you're just trying to press it in and you could probably just put it upside down and push down on it but I like to use the vise so we're going to switch over here to the vise just makes it easier and you only push down to the to the end of the threads okay because now we need the threads to bite into the plastic We're going to finish this by hand here. And it threads down pretty easy, you just got to use some force. Alright, you see we've got it installed. You can see it's flush, it'll, it'll definitely stand up. Yep. And just to prove that it works, put some butane in it. There you go. It's a nice cheap way to save money on lighters. The um, the flints in these things are larger than Zippo flints. These flints last a long time. I've had them up last up to two years. Be safe. Enjoy.